everybody. Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gather of Great Things, and it's another Magical Monday. And I have been working on my surrealistic, dreamy, magical collage. And I hope you're having a great day. I have had a wonderful day so far. Sorry I'm a little late getting this posted. But it was just, I had such a good time playing with circles and, and uh, exactly what I wanted to include in this collage. I posted on the Linda Carroll Art Creative Community these two um, backgrounds. And I actually had a dream last week that included a, a background like this where there was a grassy area and a floating window up in the sky and I was kind of standing back here watching and there were all kinds of little things um, and I can't even describe what they uh, were but all kinds of little things kind of floating around here and and then some of them were underneath a flap so you actually had to lift up the flap to see what creature was back there so i thought you know that background would make a great background for a collage so i created this in in photoshop using different images and i gave you a vertical and a horizontal version to work with depending on your choice and I thought what I would do is give you the opportunity to make your own dreamscape and I looked through a lot of my images that I had and I found this house that I've always just loved and so I thought I wanted to use this in this particular collage. So I cut that one out and then also as part of the illustration that this came from there were these other windows and one of the last things I've done is to punch using my hole punch is to punch little circles out to use in the background and to try to pull all of these pieces together. So I haven't pasted anything down yet and I did want to um, go through that kind of step by step, but I want to show you how I curated pieces to go in this and how I put a lot of pieces in here that I eventually decided to uh, take out. They may not have been in, you know, just this particular place, but I had lots more things in here. And you know I'm a maximalist when it comes to my um, collages, but I put way too much on here and decided, no, I think I liked it better um, before I put so much stuff in here. So I walked away from it for a little while and then I came back and I looked at all the images and the ones that really spoke to me to stay were these vintage kind of very ephemeral images these these fish um these angel beings this woman who was out of another piece that i had used in collage um, a long time ago and i took out these fish and put them to the side. This was in there too. I don't remember exactly where. And then I decided, eh, these bugs don't, don't really belong there. 
And I liked the kind of the loneliness of this house here. And then I thought, well, you know, I don't really like these underwater pieces um, in here. And I didn't like that. And what I was left with is this layout. And I really like it because I can see this flow towards the window and out the other side. Um, so although you don't see anything behind the window, you still get that feeling that things can go through the window. You can see the sky through the window. And um, so it, it to me looks very, very magical. So what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and paste all of these down. And I can get my glue book here. Okay, I think today I'm just gonna use my, my glue stack. It's over here buried. And I'm going to just put on some music and uh, start gluing these pieces down. And then today I am going to use uh, some other tools and materials to, um, to finish this up. So I'm going to put a little music on and, and just kind of enjoy this part. little bit of glue on here that I'm gonna have to touch up but where I think we're okay all right now I'm ready to I'm gonna trim this edge off here so I'm not too distracted by that and then I don't know maybe I think I want to glue that down over here Just to kind of continue the dreaminess, the dream state um, that we're in in this particular magical collage. Now, I still feel like there are some things missing. Like, I, I kind of want to continue this movement of this splash of color over here and take care of this cut edge. So, I have some titanium white, and uh, I'm just going to use this, and I think I'll just put a little bit out here, and I'm just going to use my finger and swipe across here.
to get the effect that I want. I like that. And I want to carry that uh, over this way too. And then I have this little piece up here that I want to tie in. So I think we're good there. If I want it out this way, okay, we're good there, and then I don't know if you can um, see, but and it, 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 this is kind of shiny. There are these little teeny tiny scribble marks in pink and yellow, basically. So I think I wanna try my new pens, this Acrylico. And this isn't as fine a line as I thought it would be, but let's see how close we can get to this color. Well, it's a little bit lighter, but let's see what we can do. Uh, that's not too bad. It might, it might, um, it might dry a little bit. <clears throat> a little bit darker. So I kind of want to carry those over here too. And Let's put some down here. All right, and then I need a yellow. That is more of an ochre than a bright yellow. Let's see what happens if I go over these. Okay, 
so I think we have our kind of dreamy um, atmosphere that I was looking for in this particular collage. Plus, you know, you kind of really don't know what planet you're on because Earth is up here in the sky. I titled these backgrounds, They Are All Around Us. Not sure why. Um, I think maybe because when I first uh, decided to do this, I was going to have a little girl blowing bubbles um, down here in the corner. And I worked on um, these bubbles with angels in them. And let me, I'm going to cut this out and, and I'll put it in the corner of the vertical one and you can see the kind of effect I was going after and you might want to try it. Um, I hope you all watched the new video about the birds and bees and, um, and blooms journal because I made an announcement on there that I was doing a giveaway because I passed a thousand subscribers, which was really exciting to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, between now and next, and this coming Thursday, um, if you would leave a comment down below, and in your comment, leave a number between 1 and 500. Um, the cutoff time is going to be Thursday, this, this coming Thursday, at noon Eastern Time. So, and I will on Friday choose the winner of that journal. And also... Uh, I may have some other little giveaways too if I can get those together so even though you may not win the journal you may win some other uh, supplies for your journaling or your collage making okay so I was gonna put her down here in this corner and have bubbles uh, that she was blowing float around up here in the sky. So that's an idea you might want to try. And I may do this one and put her down here and see what else I can come up with. But for today, I'm just going to stick with the one collage. And I'm pleased with the way that worked out. I'm going to sit with it and see if I need to add anything else to it but i'm i'm kind of pleased with the way it turned out um i'll go in with my um let's see where are my color pencils okay i'll go in with my color pencils and touch up this area where i had some glue I'm going to feather that out a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just calming down some of this white up here around my fish. Where I didn't quite cut close enough. Okay. All right. So, that's my kind of magical, mystical collage for today. All of these things, they are all around us, at least in this dream. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be back a couple times this week doing videos, um, finishing up the Birds, Bees, and Blooms journal. And I hope you'll join me for that. Also, I hope you will leave a comment down below and leave a number for the giveaway at the end of this week. So I am going to say many blessings to you. Bye for now. I'll see you again soon.